welcome to the tea table. Uh, today's episode is actually going to be a very interesting one. So with regionals coming back and IRL play coming back as well in more places with some regionals and locals kicking back up, we're going to take a look at some cards that are pretty popular or gaining steam uh, that might be jumping in prices. Uh, there might be something you want to pick up before you go to your events or, you know, if you're trying to get a steal here and then. And we're going to take a look at TCG Player. And we're also going to take a look at card market to see how the prices are different overseas and if those cards have gone as much have gone up as much as they may have here. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let me know what you think. Okay, so what we're going to start with is uh, Duraludon V. So the full group games uh, event last weekend, VMAX, uh, Duraludon, and RCS V Star won. So it'd be interesting to see now that we're getting more paper events that of like magnitude of stuff. You got locals, regionals coming up in various parts of the world. What the prices of these may be changing or if it doesn't really matter. So we'll start with this card. As you can see, late last year, it's about two dollars fluctuated. And then six two twenty two twenty six to two twenty eight, which was the tournament. Uh, it went up to about three thirty six, going back down to three. But if you look at the recently sold, it's about six dollars, four dollars, five dollars. But if we go down here, you'll see it's about three dollars. All these are about a dollar shipping. So really, this card's four dollars. So you got four dollars here, four dollars, four dollars, four fifty, four fifty, four fifty. Jump up to five. You got this one that's one forty, but it's three fifty shipping. The cards gonna be around five, four to five dollars right now. And so if you need them, you can get a playset here, twelve dollars plus a dollar shipping. Uh, you got right here, you got seven, the source seven of them. So if you need to get that, you should probably start getting closer to getting it, especially because uh, we're about to take a look at the VMAX and see how that's changing. So you got your out on VMAX, it's got three versions. It's got the alternate art secret, and then it's got the regular and the secret. So the alternate art secret really hasn't changed much. It's kind of flown between 25 and $27. But if we go to the regular VMAX, this card, boom, literally... On Valentine's Day, it was six dollars. And now look at this: six dollars. Boom! Tournament happened. Tournament happened. Thirteen dollars. If you look at here, sold fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Fourteen. So if you go down here, like all right, fourteen dollars. Fifteen. So if you look at it, so it's fifteen, right? But if you go here, it's it's four, thirteen fifty, but five dollars shipping. So it's already eighteen fifty. This one's already nineteen. This card's gonna be twenty dollars easy because if you look at the ones over here that are less, there's not so many of them. And then if you look at it here, we got Mr. Magic LLC. They have 26 of them. So the card is going to be like stuck here for a while, basically, unless they sell out or choose to change it. So this card is definitely hitting $20 easy, which is an insane jump from like two to three weeks ago when it was five, six bucks. And if you're going to want to get it, now's the time, because if this does well at any regionals, who knows, this could get $30. Not even close. Uh, then you do have, though, the Seeker Rare. So the Seeker Rare jumped up, but it went from like 9 to 11. So the interesting about the Seeker Rare is um, there's only this many listings of it. So I know not everybody likes Seeker Rares, but sometimes it's the cheaper option because you got this was 11.50, like 13, 13, 13, 15, and then it jumps to 20, and then you got the cool store down here that says it's $10,000. Don't worry about them. The card will never be $10,000. That is something you got to watch out for when you do this kind of stuff. Um, is watching out for the store that makes it insane so that it drives up the price and messes up with the algorithm. So, you got Duraludon VMAX. Here, you got Duraludon. What about Arceus? So, Arceus here has a lot. Each each one has three. So, we'll start with the, uh, the regular V here. Okay, so you got Arceus V, the regular, not full or whatever. So, pre-order, don't worry about pre-orders. It came out last week and it's about 15. It looks like it's going back up to 20. Sold here about 17, 17, 17. So you look here, you're not going to get one below 17, 17, 17, 18 on the first page. So we'll go to the second page and see. Sometimes it jumps up insane. Uh, 18, 18, basically 19, 20. So if 18 to 20 dollars is probably what you're going to pay for this card. And I don't see a reason it would go down. There's a promo box coming out, but it doesn't come out, I think, till April. So. That one will probably end up being the cheapest because it'll be the easiest to acquire. But for now, 18 to 20, especially if you're going to go play in regionals and stuff, it's the one you're going to be getting. And then you got the full art. So the full art is very interesting. So pre-orders, whatever. It dropped down to 20. And then this past week, it's been going up to almost 30. If you look at sold, basically 30. Uh, you got here 27.50 plus a dollar. So it's 29, basically. 29, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. 
you're not finding if you can find this card but like twenty five dollars or below, I definitely get it, especially if you want to play the full arts, because it looks amazing. And then we got the alternate art. So this is more of collectors, you know, high range players. This card's like seventy, seventy five dollars. I mean it looks amazing. You don't need it to play, you can get the other versions, but if you are a collector, this card's probably gonna be around this like range right here, seventy, seventy five for a while. So that's definitely uh if you if you're a collector and you want to get it, hundred percent you get that one. So then we will go to the V Stars versions of this. So that was uh, that one. So RCS V Star, this is the regular one. Pre orders were some crazy amount of money. So it dropped to like thirty six, but it really just got back up to forty. The three last sold are forty. Is a 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 42, 43. It's probably like second page. We're going to hit 45, 45, yep. So there's definitely a card like, if this is, uh, if you can find like 35 or less, I definitely get this. Because there's no reason saying anything that this card's bad or this card will get bad. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing to, so even if a fighting Pokemon comes out, who cares? You get Dunsparce. So this is definitely a good card for the long haul. Uh, then you got the Secret Rare. Oddly enough, pretty close. 35 on release. About 40 here. Now, it's gone up to, like, 50. So, like, this person right here, Poke Halls, they're new. So, newer stores do tend to sell it cheaper because they got to get the rating to do everything. So, if you can find an English one right here, it's $38. That's great because you look at the next one, 45, then 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. So, that's definitely carving at 35. Even below, even 40 at some point will be good for it. Uh, then you got the gold one, which just looks great. Again, you don't have high roller. You know those people. Could be me. Play those. And... You got the 75, 65, 70, and then you got 65, 75, 75, 75. So this card would probably be like $80, $85. It's kind of like trending up, but like not too much. So if you look at here, it's like $80 right here. It'd be insane if it got to 100 but I'm not sure it will. Only time will tell that one and how well it does in collectors. So we're going to move to some Pokemon that aren't Vs, but are kind of popular or will be popular. Uh, first, we're going to start with Beedrill. So you got Beedrill here from uh, Single Strike. So that it was in the cool deck of the weekend last week, which was the uh, Arceus Flygon v. Beedrill deck. So Beedrill's been floating around a while. <coughs> As you can see, the card itself has been like $2. Basically, forever. <coughs> so it's been $2 last few months. So, they're like, so you can see the $3 sold. If you go down, $1.50 to two something, $1.50, whatever, like... About two, three dollars is what you're going to pay in. I wouldn't pay more than that for now, unless you're in dire straits, like you're at the event, and they're like four bucks, and you got no choice. So if you can pay less than like three bucks or whatever, that's good. And uh, then we got a barrel. So barrels are quickly becoming a good card out of the set of people are playing. Trying to see a five, it's great. So not worry about the uh, price range so much because it's like a, a rare. But if you look at the sold ones, they're about two dollars. Some guy got one for eighty-five seven cents. So look here. You do have the seven. It's about a dollar, two dollars for the card. Dollar fifty here, dollar fifty, two dollars, dollar fifty, dollar fifty. So if you look at that. Uh, I think the card would be like two, three dollars. It's gonna be probably a staple. Like it's it's cut out in Talion because you can just play a barrel and draw to five in some decks. Uh, but what you do have to look for there are other versions of a barrel. So what we got is a uh, barrel. Um, the definitely the pre-release deck one. And the pre-release deck one, you can only get in the, like, CETA pack in the pre-release, so there's really not pricing data, because not too many sell, because the other one's cheaper. But this card's about, like, 2 to $3. You just gotta be careful when you're buying them, that you don't, like, someone's not selling the other one, and you get overcharged because they looked up this price. So that's something to look at. And then we got the pre-release for Barrel, my favorite. It's, like, 5 $6.00. But if you want to, if you're gonna buy barrel for the long haul, you definitely want this buy barrel because look at it, it looks great. Like I said, five, six dollars here, six bucks, seven, eight. It's gone up since I last checked two hours ago. Uh, you got that. Uh, we got double turbo energy. The only reason I have this on the list is like fifty cents for a regular one. But I got the reverse hollows popped up. They're like two dollars right now. If they don't make a secret rare, which we haven't seen them doing so far, even in the next Japanese set that got released recently, it'd probably be like a five dollar foil. You see, uh, foils say for two fifty. So if you wanna, if you like foils and stuff, this is definitely something you want to pick up now because I think it'll go up in the future because this card's just good and it's gonna be in so many things. As for the regular, they're like fifty cents, maybe a dollar, depending what your LGS is doing and stuff. So if you want foils, get them now. And then a card really has capture energy. Capture just like exists. Sometimes it pops up, sometimes it doesn't. It cards like two to three dollars every time. 
I know it's going to rotate at the end of the season, but if you're going to events and you need it, like, I'd definitely pick it up. Because you got, like, Reverse Hollows 2. They're not, there's like four bucks, five bucks. Which is crazy because this is an uncommon. But, uh, I, if it's a card you like my need, right? Who knows if a control deck that pop, plays four is going to pop up and stuff like that. I don't think the card's going to get much higher than this, but it's just only really, like a staple you might want to pick up if you, um, if you're going to play this at any point during the rest of the season. Now we're going to take a look at card market. Okay, I will say I've never used card market. This is one of the first times when friend Andy helped me kind of navigate it a little bit. So I want to see the price difference here. You know, how things work. So card market is like the European TCG player. So you can't use different languages over here. Uh, things are listed in the language they're in. Uh, he did tell me that English ones will be a little more expensive. But if you look at the price for this one, it's like 250 3 350 4 euro if you get to the end. And that's an excellent condition one. You got mints, near mint. Uh, so it's like 3 4 euro is pretty good. You can get a bunch here for 250 or less, so that's really great. And then we got uh, Duraldon on VMAX. So you see, ours here is going to be 20 USD, probably higher. Theirs is you can get it for four, depending on language. These are all German, it looks like. The first English one's five, and you got 529, six, 650, seven. Not super expensive compared to ours. Uh, then you got the Secret Rare, fluctuates so much. Um, a cool thing about this is it also tells you the price trend, how many in 30 day average. It's pretty cool. So this is about. You got English ones here, about 13, 12, 13, 15 euros, 16. So for me, the secret rare, that makes more sense, that it's like this price. The low end on the first page, you got 20 euro. Not that bad. It is more than ours currently for, for very little time. Uh, then you got the alternate, which I didn't go over the one on TCG player because it just never changes. But this is like basically what it is here, 25 euro, 24, 30 uh, even English ones, you got German here. It's just, so not too many, much difference in that one. Uh, then we'll check out RCSV. So RCSV, you got, first English one would be 850 euro. You got German ones, same price range basically. You got one 759, 10. I mean, the lowest on the first page is like 12 euro. The most expensive English one is 12 euro basically. That's really good compared to us. Uh, you got RCSV full art. It's around the same, like, basically the same as us. You got 18, 19, 20 euro, 25. Now, I will say I'm not sure what shipping costs are over in Europe, so the shipping costs can make these insane I'm, or or not. I'm not sure on that one. That's on me. I did not research that before this, as this is the first one I'm doing, and I just kind of did this part on a whim. So if you do see, you know, if I mess that up and it's like I messed this up completely, please do let me know so for the future I, I can learn. Uh, we got this one. The pre order for this was like 130 euro. I saw it was like crazy. So you got 50 English here. You got 53, 60, 70. You got the high end those right here. We got uh, Neo Pie right here. What was the Neo Pie? It's like 82 euro. Uh, you got the regular V Star here. Uh, the peak was like 44 euro. Yeah, around 30. That's a pretty good amount under 30 right here. Uh, 30, low end on the first stage is 35, pretty good. You got the Secret Rare, 30. First English one's going to be 30 by Card Coliseum. Uh, you got these, I'm probably seeing pretty close stars. Again, I don't know shipping. And like, I know the conversion rate, so they are pretty close. But like, I don't know if shipping there. Shipping could be, poof, this is like the worst deal ever. Uh, then you got the gold one. It was at 140 euro, about 60. Uh, also, you can put the description, which is cool. Um, you got right here, German first English one, about 60. And then you got 70. The first page got almost 100. But this range around 60, 70 is where a lot of them are at here. That seems pretty good to me. Uh, yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to try to do more of these. I'm going to learn more about card markets so I can, you know, shipping is different or whatever. I can get more accurate. I just want to include that. Um, if there's a card you want, if there's a certain, maybe if you want to look at sets or cards or you think something might be going up, hit me up. I can do a video. I love looking at prices all the time. I follow them so much because of my job. So it's very interesting to see the trends and all that stuff. It's really cool. And if you like this video, let me know below. And if your heart feels like it, 
drop that subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on the tea table.